Hello everyone. Welcome to Hack Veda. I am Amit and this is our Java competitive programming classes where we solve Java challenges in this lead code platform and it will help you to learn how to solve any challenges effectively. So here I will going to provide you the solution of the lead code challenges. This is one Java challenge. Uh, whatever the questions that is present inside this lead code, they are called as a challenge on a different problem domain like array list collection. So there are different modules. These programs are made. These challenges are based on that. So today we're going to provide a solution to you of these different challenges of Java. So let's start it. So before going into that, I will explain you what is actually this problem. In this problem here, we are dealing with an array that is provided with an array of an integer num and one integer variable target. And it is asking you that you need to uh, solve this challenge in such a way that when you will add two number of an any array and when you match it with this target variable, you should be able to write down the, you should be able to return the index value of that two element. Now here, what does it mean? It means that you can see this array, right? This is one nums array is there. And this is one target variable, which is assigned with nine. So in this, you need to find out which two element when you combine it, it will become equal to the target. So now here you can see two and seven. When you combine it, it will give you target value. That is your nine. So the output will be your index value and input will be your num array. So we will going to solve in that way. As you can see on my screen, this, uh, it is saying you that your, uh, that input that you will going to accept is in this format or a format and that one target value, you will going to pass it and it will going to perform an addition like num zero, num one equal to nine. And if it equal to nine means if it equal to your target value, if the, after adding two index, if it become equal to target value, you need to write, write down the indexes. So here. Uh, let me first run this code and then I will explain you. So here you can see that it will take few seconds and it is accepted, right? It means that whatever solution I have written is accepted by this lead code platform. So in this way, you can find it out whether your all the test cases will going to pass or not, right? So let's see it, how I have solved this uh, question and I will explain you each and every term. So in this question, they have provided me the class name and the method name. And inside this, the whole for loop, I have written my logic. So how you will going to write the logic, how you understand the problem, you need to see here. So what actually here is in this method to sum, you are accepting two parameters. What are those two parameters? One is your integer array with the name nums and another one is your target value. Now, inside this, you are using nested for loop. Nested for loop means the for loop inside another for loop. So this one is your what? This one is your outer loop. And uh, this second one is your inner loop. So here, how the process is usually follow. You can see here, when you, when you come inside this, so you can see here, integer i is equal to zero, right? means first i is initialized with zero and you are checking is i is less than nums dot length. Nums is what your integer array. And when you apply this length function to this, it will give you the number of element present in this array. So now here you can see this nums array, how many element is there? Four element, right? So when you apply this length function to this array num, it will give you the length of this array. It means that four element, the number of element. So in this way, like you, you will going to find out here that num dot length is equal to four. Let me note down here that num dot length value is the num dot length value will be equal to four, right? Because of four element. Now here, how the approach is. Now here, when you solve it, So here you can see the for loop. So when, when you, uh, like, uh, 
inside this for loop when you go through it when you try to find out what is the logic here you can see here this i is equal to 0 i is less than num dot length that is less than 4 condition true you will come inside j is equal to i plus 1 so what is the current value of i 0 so 0 plus 1 j value become 1 is 1 is less than num dot length condition true so you will come inside when this condition true then only you will come inside and you will going to check is this num j that is the element present at a j index of this num array is it equal to target minus num present at a i index if this condition true then only you will going to return the index value of that particular array so how we are going to solve it just see let me note down first uh, this so the logic is nums and the index value of j is what here 0 plus 1 1 right equal to what is the target value target value is 9 minus num dot i what is the element present at an index i if you see this is an array which is starting from 0 so in array or index always start from 0 so in array index start from 0 so in num array also index will start from 0 so you have a four element right uh, you have an element like 2 7 11 and 15 right so here what will be the index of 2 will be 0 right as i said you that index start from 0 so the index of 2 will be 0 right so the index of 2 will be 0 7 will be 1 11 will be 2 and and 15 will be 3 so the num so here uh, when you initialize here num1 equal to target minus num i so i value is 0 so what is present at a 0 uh, sorry the i value is 0 yeah so what element is present at an index 0 that is 2 right so you will assign 2 here so you will assign 2 here so what value you will get it here once you solve this you will get nums1 equal to 7 right and uh, what is the well element present at a nums1 is 7 right so now you have find it out that 7 equal to 7 right so once 7 equal to 7 it means that condition become true you will come inside and you will write down the indexes value of i and j what is the index value of j so index j is equal to 1 right and uh, index i that i am talking about is equal to 0 right so in this way they have written 0 and 1 so hope you have understand like how we can solve this uh, problems uh, with the help of java so once you this loop is not only as uh, not only end here but here this loop will keep on going unless this condition become false so we have found for one uh, value for one loop if you want to pass out for other in other array also then you can check it so this can this for loop will run unless this condition become false once you once this condition become false you will come out of this loop and this throw new illegal argument exception is used for suppose in case here the the array that you are reading is integer type and target value is also integer type in case any illegal argument is passed to this method then it will throw an exception then there should be someone to throw an exception that is the reason we have written throw exception illegal argument so in case if you read any wrong argument here then it will throw an exception so in this way i have shown you like how you can solve uh, the various challenges based on the java and you can learn the coding skill and you can improve your coding skill so if you uh, like the like this video 
then please uh, subscribe it share it comment it so the next time we will solve another problem uh, in this same lead code platform thank you thank you everyone